quite a juicy game this weekend against one of the, the top six and this after the game against Albert. I know you had no complaints about the result, but on another day you might have got something from that against another one of the leading teams. Um, well, we spoke about that after the game and, and I've still no complaints about the result because we didn't start well enough, but you're playing against a top team. You know, and again tomorrow you're going to play against a, a side that has got some good players in. They know, uh, they know what they're doing. They know they're really set up well again, um, well coached. They put you under pressure in a, in a similar way, um, and have had some real good success over the last well, the, the time that I've been here. They've uh, they've had success as well, and have come on, on a, a similar journey. But they've had uh, they've had some. Uh, decent sales that have meant that they've been able to invest well. They've done a really good job there, there's no doubt about that. So, um, yeah, they deserve the success that they're having and uh, and it is a, it's always a tough game against Luton. So, uh, we're under no illusions. We've got, um, uh, we've got an idea of how we want to try and perform. We've got an idea of how they'll want to perform as well and, and those two things we've got to try and manage as best we can do but uh, I always say it's about us and uh, and, it, and it is it's about us and how we how we perform but you know we've got to get to a stage where we can get a little bit of consistency I, I was at a fans forum last night and we were talking about inconsistency and young players and they go hand in hand um, until they get to a uh, a level of comfort when they're in the, the, the surroundings for a long enough and they've had some success long enough to understand what that feels like and then they, they, they can kick on but um, like I say it's another game we can look forward to we've got two home games now um, three similar games in fairness with uh, uh, with Millwall uh, after this and then uh, away at Rotherham so the three similar games really really teams want to be on the front foot get in your face and, and try and make things difficult for you so we've got to stand up to that challenge and um, and obviously try and play our own game and like I say we, if we can do that then we can cause all sorts of problems for all sorts of teams and Carl McFansing was he close to being ready for, for the Albion game and no where is he now ok well I'm, I'm, and now um, well he'll be a little bit closer but you know like I say it's, it's difficult to say because these players you want them to have games you know, you want them to have games before they, they, they perform. I think, on the other hand, um, sometimes what we've had to do is, is play them in the games that mean that they're going to get the, the, the game time in the first team. So, <clears throat> you know, there's, there's those things that always go on, but like I say, we, we, we're looking forward to a really, uh, a really good game tomorrow against a, t a side that are obviously challenging again for the, for the playoffs. And, um, you know, we... we want to be that team we want to be the team that, that ends up being in a position where we can challenge to get into playoffs for a place in the Premier League and that's that's something that we aspire to be that's certainly what we uh, we aim to do Can I just um, check on some of the other injured lads um, please is it Rosie is it any change there he was his groin wasn't it um, he's training so oh, that's good. he's been training for a couple of days now so yeah, better position. Excellent. Um, and Fanky, that was his hamstring, I think. And he, I think you thought a couple of weeks, maybe. Yeah, Fanky Th Thank should be clearing the uh, clearing the Alter G today, and then back on the grass tomorrow. So, with a, a view to sometime next week. Well, once he's cleared that protocol, then he'll be the next step for him. Would be to join in training. So, yeah. hopefully, yeah. Ne hopefully next week. Thanks, Mark. All the best tomorrow. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you. Thanks. You're muted. Um, not anymore. Morning. How Hi, are you? Yes. You are right? Yeah, good, thanks. Yeah, nice to see you. Good to see you again. In terms of your own game, where, where do you feel you are at the moment? How, how do you feel it's going? <laughs> I'm 19 games without a booking, so I think I'm doing all right in that way. <laughs> but no, I'm kidding now. Um, I, I think, I, think I, I play a lot of games. Um, I think I'm doing all right. Uh, otherwise, the gaffer will stop me. So I think in that way, I'm, I'm doing well. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm happy how I play. I'm happy how we play football. Um, especially if if it's not going that well in the game, we still try to play if if it's possible. We don't force it. What what I like. Um, but of course, you want as a midfield, especially you want always the ball. Um, but I think yeah, my my personal game is is, is all right so far. I was going to ask you about um, 
yellow card, so the fact you haven't had one for a while without wanting to tempt fate. Is that, is that, is that been a conscious thing for you to try and improve on that side? Yeah, of course, because I, I um, uh, with getting that many cards, you, you, you don't help the team always, especially if you get suspended and stuff like that. So I think in, I have I have to work on that, and I spoke with 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 the gaffer about it, and he sent me some clips into to work on that. So especially after that Birmingham game, the red card, what well, I still don't agree with, but it happened that uh, I saw a couple of clips of mine how how to how to change the challenges or how to to uh, improve in that way so yeah I think I think I'd feel alright in that way and goals you get you get a few goals and you're having plenty of efforts on goal is that something you you're working on yeah of course especially with with, with, with uh, AD FIFA we're doing some tacticals and trying to do the finishing drills and stuff like that as well so yeah of course I want to score more but it's not of course, as a midfielder, you want to score goals, and I want to get it more in in my game. But it's not it's not my my job to score the goals, if you know what I mean. Like, of course, you want to score and help the team, but it's not like what I'm for in the team. I'm, I'm have to I have to make the balance. We have to make play with me and Shifo and and Casey or Jamie Allen, Kel O'Hare when he's back fit. That we have to make a team playing um, and fix jobs and the other striker's job is to score the goals. But of course, I'm happy when when I score my goals and we're working on that as well in the trainings. For we're, fin we're finishing drills and um, getting shots from distance or coming into the uh, coming into the box and get your goals away there sometimes. Thanks, Gus. All the best tomorrow. Cheers. Thank you.